had the ice. That boy used to go up in Atlanta. They hated him, too. Mm, they used to want to trade him for Cam Newton so bad. I was like, why? Him and Julio got connections. Nah. Nah, uh, Cam or Atlanta nigga. Cam in Atlanta would have been stupid, though. It's retarded. Oh, my God. He'd have been in Magic City every night. Well, uh, his right fist would have been his, <laughs> historically nasty in Atlanta. He would have had some of the sickest fits in Atlanta. Who he hated dresses? Dresses? Who dressed well? Oh, with Linux? Yeah. It, just being able to slide the Linux? Yeah, yeah he'd have been Nasty. in all kind of, yeah. Who hated worse, Cam or Zion? Zion, it's all right. Zion, Zion, that turtleneck <laughs> is one of the worst outfits I've ever seen. You're not recording? No. We're recording now. We got to start the call. All right, we're good. Uh, all right, we're <laughs> <laughs> Zion's fits is crazy, bro. Speak, Zion, never mind. <laughs> oh, hey, look, we here. All right, we good, Mikey? <clears throat> All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. To my far left, we got resident chef Bishop Greenleaf, my boy B here, out the pearlies. How you what? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it. You ain't got the sunglasses on today. You came to straight for the business, huh? Yeah, I know. It's, it's cool, bro. I'm chilling today. Nah, <laughs> boo. <laughs> to my right, I got Young T, Young Nacho. My boy, how you feeling? I'm good, man. I can't complain. Fresh off the birthday, how you feel, man? You feel old yet? Yeah, 35 ain't treating me too well so far. I'm feeling old. Damn, they about to gun at you in the Miz League when they see this now. It's crazy as hell. I'm still going to get buckets. <laughs> 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 Last but not least, man, we got a special guest in the building to my left. You know what I'm saying? He plays football, but more importantly, he's a philanthropist. He's a good dude. And he also, he has his own organization we're going to talk about a little bit shortly. My man from the Indianapolis Coast, Zaire Franklin. My dog, appreciate you pulling up, my boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all boys having me in the building. For sure, man. This is the 520. Look, before we get into the episode, you see this table. We just got the championship ball. You can have your product here. We getting the promos cracking. Look, don't tell. We ain't tell y'all. I know everybody dragged their feet, but coming soon, we're going to have something for y'all. Y'all going to wish I did it, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Before we get into the episode, when time we got to get Zaire, we already ask a fried question to start the show off. So I got to ask you, obviously you've been playing football a long time. What was that one moment where you was just like, damn, I don't know if I'm ready for this? Probably first practice of college, bro. I remember being out there, I'm so damn tired, bro. I couldn't even backpedal. <laughs> <laughs> we, had this, we had this crazy ass receiver, bro. Bro, dude, dude, crazy ass. He he from uh, upstate New York, bro. Shout out to Syracuse. I had said something slick to him. He was a senior. He said, what? Bro, that dude ran full speed, knocked me right on my ass. I can't breathe. My linebacker coach like, bro, we left you in Philly if you could do all that. I thought to myself, like, man, I should just went on with the Villanova or something. I wasn't even built for this <laughs> one life, but we figured it out, though, for sure, Ski. You said like him. You said your first your first practice yeah. at Wake was different. Yeah, the conditioning. I was like, yeah, I'm going to transfer back home. I promise you, boy. Yeah. It'd be like that. I mean, we're going to get into it, too, but I got a question for y'all. Obviously, both of y'all made it to the stage. It was a big of a jump like that from high school to college, or was it even worse from college to the, to the league? Oh, you got it. Uh, I mean, for me, I would probably say high school to college just because, like, I feel like you were in high school, you know, you playing dudes from, like, your area, you know them. So, like, even, like, I went to private school, but I'm like, oh, all right, he from Bucks County. Like, oh, I done played Bucks County before. You go to college, you playing dude Mississippi. Like, that's when you first really get around the Miami boys. You really see what that's like. Like, you know what I mean? It just be – when you go to college, that's, like, your first time. When you get to the league – you done already played half of these dudes in games. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? You get to the league, I done played against a dude at Clemson. I done played against NC State. So it's like, now they just my teammates. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that jump to college was probably harder. It's probably different for us. Like, college was easy. Like, most of the time, it's easier for, like, basketball players. When you get to the league, now you're playing grown men who got years in the league, and they already established, and they kind of, like, you a rookie, you don't know how to draw fouls, you fouling every play. It just it's way different. The game's so much faster. Yeah. Like you ain't sitting in the people can't sit in the lane and do three seconds. It's like you on the island all the time. So it was way different. I wasn't ready my rookie year. I'm like, damn. So was speed the biggest adjustment for both of y'all? Hell for me, hell yeah. Pace of the game. Uh yeah, yeah, probably. I mean everything just be going so fast. Like I feel like in the NFL, it's just like I know Jeff could probably tell you, it's just the details, bro. Like, yeah. in NFL, they say that shit finna happen at 16 yards. That shit about to happen at 16 yards. No question. Every time, like, yeah. in college, you got, like, a little bit of a wiggle. And, like, you could just be nice and be better than people. In NFL, a lot of times, they just boys just be precise, bro. It, that just be the biggest difference. Yeah, yeah that's bro. the crazy part about football. Like, it's so detail-oriented. And, like, especially <laughs> when you playing against some QBs that's, like, really like that. 
they know every counter. They know mm. every off. Like, you really got to study to play the game. Like, as much as people are taught, like, a brute sport, you really got to know, like, your fucking plays and stuff. That's crazy to me. No, nah, no question. I mean, then when you go against, like, one of them, like, I ain't going to hold you. Like, when we had luck, bro, my rookie year, bro, like, Man, he was just a different beast, bro. I ain't even gonna catch. He was fucking y'all up in practice, bro. He was just a different energy. Like when he was there, bro. Like I'm talking about, he wasn't. He he started practice when he practiced. The offense just moved different. You old, like he knew. Like I'm talking about, I'm a rookie. I'm like, right, I'm lined up over to. I'm about to blitz. He don't see me. I ain't even gonna look at him. He, that's him right there. He about to come. Don't even. I'm old. Like I ain't even. I ain't even look at you. He just understood how. Oh, like yeah, luck was really like that. Oh, we gonna get that drill. Well, Love was like, like that. That mean Tom Brady was crazy. Yeah, because sure. he the he the greatest, right? He better than Peyton Manning, right? Oh, you disrespect the murder. Get me in trouble. See, that's <laughs> crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> you what I'm gonna say is though, look, look. I'm gonna say this though. We played Tom, bro. Like my first time, like my first time, my first start was against Tom. My rookie year, I ain't Damn. know what the hell was going on. He was dicing our shit up. I ain't gonna hold you. That shit was bad. <laughs> Element had just came back from like a four game suspension Thursday night. I'm Ooh, I that remember that. Home. Yeah, Joe ass in the blender. Bro, <laughs> Element hit me with this crazy ass spin move. I ain't even know white boys move like that. I'm like, this nigga fresh off an injury. How he spinning like this? That's crazy. He was nice. Bro, I, my, I played. We played him when he was in Tampa. Bro, I swear to God, bro. Like, I'm now. I'm on. I'm like year four, so like I done been in the league. Mm -hmm. I promise you, he still was out there. It was like he had like an aura about him. Like you know how Dave Chappelle said, yeah, uh, Rick James. I'm looking at. I'm like, bro, this that's time out this motherfucker. I'm, let me lock in for this play, but yeah. that boy like that for sure. Man, I gotta talk about your journey because you had one of the most unique journeys to get to the NFL. Coming in as a seven round pick, you said you didn't have a combine or you didn't go to the senior Pro Bowl. Like, how was that process for you coming out of Syracuse and then getting to the league? Man, it was just, you know, honestly, it's, it's kind of one of them things, you know, we didn't win a lot in, in Cuse. So, like, you know, when you don't win, it's like in any level. When you don't win, even if you're cooking, you ain't going to get the love that you necessarily deserve. Mm -hmm. So, it was just kind of one of those things. But, honestly, bro, it was just something I always just took it on the chin. Like, every time that somebody, you know, hated on me, they was doing all kind of flaky stuff during the draft process. I mean, I just kind of took it on the chin. Like, all right, I'm just going to add to the fire. So, and honestly, in a weird way, like in a league, like I would rather go undrafted and like be drafted in like the sixth or seventh round, like at a Word. certain point. Cause like once you undrafted, you at least get to pick your yeah. shot. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you get drafted, you know, you stuck. Like, regardless. even though I'd probably end up coming to Indy anyway, but. Damn. You know. And that's what we used to talk about all the time before they kind of like start pretty much hoeing all the undrafted uh, with the second round picks. It's like, would you rather go second round in the league, get your check quick? You know what I'm saying? Or would you rather be late first round and kind of Denver thug it out, even though it's guaranteed? Yeah. That NFL grind is totally different because you got so many people competing for spots, and them GMs don't really be giving a fuck. They be like, oh, he hurt? Cool, next man up. Like, damn, bro, like, I was just nice, like, in training camp. How do you compete with that? Like, you see everybody's gunning from the same couple positions, and you play a premier position in the NFL. Well, I ain't gonna hold you. Since I'm here, I'm gonna just get that off on my chest. I be hating on y'all NBA niggas. Straight up. Oh, y'all asking me. Straight up. Let me just get that off the chest. Yes. I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start right there. Yeah. First of all, fuck them. Y'all boys get to play all overseas. Like, I ain't gonna hold you. I told myself I was never gonna play in Canada. I yeah. told myself straight up. The CFL, if that was what I had to go, I wasn't gonna play. You was nothing like, on the XFL? Yeah, I'm not going to play in Japan. Y'all boys got the Taiwan, all kind. Y'all making all kind of money out there. Y'all got y'all face on the billboards. Y'all got the new sneaks out there. You know what I'm saying? We go out there. We in Serbia. It's cold. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what's going on. We ain't, no. Nah, I, I always, the NBA boys, y'all situation different. And y'all got the G League, too. So even if you ain't start, you still out Vegas tagging something, living. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't still <laughs> live. That's a fact. <laughs> nah, I've noticed that with football players because, like, when we used to go to the club, <laughs> they go crazy. <laughs> like, nah, they, they spin, bro. Like, basketball dudes might spin couple thousand football they going twenty thousand like I'm like damn why they going niggas, so hard the niggas got them helmets yeah on. they like they gonna know who we are that nigga Zaire yeah, yeah, probably going, walked in with a chain that yeah. said Zaire on that yeah, yeah right right there right right on the big, yeah, on the big screen know, though me. right there though right there like but they going so hard I, yeah. Yeah. hey they get the size of the club I'm in the league yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm was, like, that's that Zaire Neal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do that when the motherfuckers bring the 
bottles yeah. and more. Yeah. I'm saying though, y'all boys been famous since AAU. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all nah. been playing for this team and that team and highlight been one mil since you was in 12th grade. Nah, y'all got it rough, but. <laughs> nah, for real. All right, that was <laughs> enough. That was enough. <laughs> I ain't gonna let you do that to us though. You ain't gonna do that though. Nah, for real though, it's kind of <laughs> fucked up. Like if you ain't a star star in the NFL, it's like. Yeah, well, motherfucker don't really know you. You can damn be the 12th crazy. man on the bench in the NBA and motherfuckers will know who you are. Like if you ain't a star star in the NFL, it's like. Right, so they got so y'all they just got big in the motherfucker. Like that's a big nah, ass niggas. Nigga. Right, so they got AAU. What do y'all got? Is it Nike Camp and uh, I know Cam Newton uh, highlighting his kids with his seven on seven shit. Like what? Oh, that seven on seven. Or y'all on like we we got ballers like mm-hmm. all that shit that we can watch on YouTube to check mm-hmm. out the young and up and coming. You know what I mean? Stars. What yeah, do y'all nah. got? that's a fact. Um, honestly, it's crazy because like seven on seven really becoming like the new AAU like for mm-hmm. football wise yeah. like. It's just the way it's growing, the way it's expanding. Uh, even like my OG, you know, shout out to Philly Finest out in Philly. Uh, you mean they like the top school, the top uh, organization on the whole East Coast. You know, they playing right. Florida, they playing in Kentucky, they playing in, you know what I'm saying? And it just, they got tournaments all over. It's crazy because like even now, you got teams putting they, they, they high school teams in these big tournaments, they getting a look. So that's how a lot of dudes getting the offers and all that too. So um, it's crazy how that just take off. Shit. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Cam team like that too. I think yeah. they played. I think we won those games. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Talk <laughs> your shit. Uh, you what? You what? Twenty six, twenty seven. I'm twenty six. I didn't play. I only played. I'm a, I'm cap. I only played two twenty. Oh okay. I was about to but say. <laughs> but I had offers, so it didn't really matter. But Talk I mean, shit, you know what I'm saying you had to. Uh, you gotta get out there on that circuit. Sometimes you gotta get on that grind. So why you pick Syracuse? Man, I mean, the easy. Just, it was. It was honestly. It was close to home for yeah. for like. It was close enough to like. It's three and a half from Philly, so like it's close enough to where like. My mama and my grandmama was. I mean, my my auntie. They wasn't just gonna pull up like mm-hmm. whenever they wanted to, cause my auntie and them was crazy. Like yeah. they really just slide if I went to like <laughs> Temple or something. Yeah. But like if something was going on, I could slide home. You feel me? And like something happened, so I needed to be somewhere far. But like I wasn't really trying. I had an offer from Arizona. I damn near should have went on that visit. Though. I was tweaking. It was mad as hell. I committed. Yeah, I, I definitely would have went out there. Should have went to my visit to Arizona State. Yeah, because I'm about to say, yeah, damn, bro, you went out. to Syracuse. That motherfucker, the snow, all that. Yeah. You were trying to get away from that weather. Syracuse, you really Syracuse love, you nice love your family more than me. <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised <laughs> you didn't <laughs> try, <to go> like, <laughs> try to go down south, though. Like, yeah. yeah. Where I'm not made for the south, though. I ain't going to cap. I really I talk, I, I, talk, I talk back to the to the folks too much, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, nah, you know, the East Coast, it is different. Yeah, he is East Coast. East Coast, it different than south shit. But That's, everybody from the East Coast, like all the people in Atlanta, they from New York or Philly. Yeah. Yeah, they do talk crazy, though. Yeah. Cuse was uh, ACC or Big East when you was there? Uh, they had just went to the ACC my first year. Uh, so you seen all the – you played the, the oh, Yeah, my, div- my division was uh, – my rookie, my freshman year was Jameis and them. Then Lamar. Ooh. Oh, Then shit. D-Watt was in that joint, too. NC State had a bunch of them boys, too. So Did y'all we, play weight? Yeah, we play Wake. Yeah, we play every Wake was like yeah. so. Like we, I ain't gonna hold you. We'll play Clemson. We beat Clemson though. So hold on. So put some respect on it. We we spanked Clemson, them boys. So <laughs> let, let, let's let's put there? that on my. Did you I was there? Huh? Deshaun Watson was there. When you, nah, nah, nah. It had, had to be that transition. They went period. to the. They went to the chip. It had, had to be that transition. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate <laughs> right there. No, I ain't. Look, look. That strike too. Yeah. He he, that, he trying me with the NBA. Yeah. Shit. Nah, that's nah. Crazy. It had to be a transition <laughs> period. Battle wars and shit. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they was they were, we beat Clemson. But uh, what I was about to say, no, nah, they had they, it was all goons and goblins down there. But yeah, Wake yeah. was like the team we like. We probably lose to Clemson and Florida State, but we play. Wait, we oh yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Up. like it's us and them. Ooh, like, Christmas, yeah, we went back nah. and forth against them. So. Yeah, I, I can see that being a good match. <laughs> I got. Nah, a, I'll be wait for us. They they got better though this year though. It was nah, right. They got, got twenty five this year. I got a question for you. I'm a little bit biased in this question, but who you think was better in college between Jameis and Lamar? Jameis and Lamar. <sighs> Jameis tough. Jameis team so stacked, bro. They had twenty two guys drafted, bro. That's, That's OD. Crazy. Like I ain't even gonna hold you. They defense was crazy. They had Dalvin Cook and they had Kelvin Benjamin. That's cheating. They they oh whole O line was crazy. Twenty two niggas in the same year. Like <laughs> so, like the twenty two guys that they have that started for that national championship game, all twenty two of them got drafted. Oh okay, I was yeah. about to say now the draft is OD. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it be like that though. It be like that. You see Georgia putting all them boys out. That's like, true. True. That's crazy. Crazy. Teams, it's same way like you be like a oh, 12 man. Everybody know you. Teams will go to jo- y'all was undefeated. Y'all defense was crazy. We just gonna take y'all fifth linebacker. Come here, sixth round. Yeah, yeah got they, you. they just all go to the fucking Eagles. Yeah, but to answer your question, I'm gonna go Lamar. Lamar was something crazy yes, yeah, in college. I didn't even care. He really was. He was, he was OD, bro. His stats was crazy in college. And bro, I 
I was a little overfaithful. I still am. But I watched that, and I said, this man was literally running for his life every single play, and he really was going crazy against the nation. Imagine if he would have went to a real football school. Now, Louisville team was tough that one year when they lost to D.Y. at night. They was yeah. they was tough. They they, they could have actually won. I think that was his first hire year. They was mm-hmm. nice, but it was just like they just never won. Like, they won some big games. They never won, like, the game to, like – because, you know, in, co- in college football, it's different. Cool. Like, you gonna, if you lose one or two games, it's over with. So, it's like – they would beat like Florida State and then lose to Clemson. If you lose to Clemson, you ain't gonna win the chip, and then it's all over with. Yeah, because you lost out of your division, so now you ain't getting in that ACC championship game, and now yeah. it don't matter. Now you in the Dollar General Bowl, and you won twelve games anyway. Exactly. But college, like, That's I ain't gonna lie. College, college <laughs> basketball is trash. Though. I, ain't gonna, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like college basketball, bro. Oh, it's way better than college football, though, bro. How you figure that? Nah, I hate they, college Because they at least got March Madness, bro. Yeah. We That's don't need, it. Like, we don't know what. Like, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Nigg- niggas wasn't checking for like too many football games after a certain amount. Oh, you football. sleep. A that's lot of crazy. people take it. That, that's college, really college football. throughout the year though. Throughout college, the year, college football is not as big as college basketball, y'all. That's cap, bro. Popularity, absolutely. Nah, not. the whole season for college basketball does not matter until March. That don't think you don't think that's crazy. Nah, but it get crazy in March. Bro. It do get crazy. I but think, mm, that's playing tough. games I, you're not supposed to play. On, y'all, y'all be undefeated. <laughs> Y'all number one in the country. What Purdue? Number one country all year. Yeah. Win the Big Ten tournament. Big Ten tournament. Then get your ass spanked by St. <laughs> Mary Vincent somewhere. And now, hey, yeah, hey, Purdue, Purdue, hey, you never yeah. supposed to play them though. Hey, you know got, Purdue has. You, know you know hate yeah. him Purdue? Nah. Oh, nah. yeah. He loved so Purdue. Nah, nah, I hate them niggas. Yeah, hey. yeah. But hold on, hold on. His team was the same way. They got dusted. That way yeah. team. Yeah. What kind of nigga is you? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. What kind of nigga is you? That's crazy. You see what I'm saying? What kind of nigga is you? Shout out to Norris Cole. But I'm saying uh, that to uh, me. Oh, no, that's crazy. We lost to the first round, too. They lost to Cleveland State. Damn, not Cleveland State, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's one. But you're not even so supposed to play been, I would have been cool to lose in the Syracuse, not Cleveland State. Right, yeah. right, right. But that's what I'm saying. Quality. The, the excitement. So I get what he's saying. We don't really look forward to, it's a, maybe two or three bowl games that we look forward to in college football. And to me, you damn near got to be a fan. Everybody and their mama tap into March Madness. That's fair. Yeah. One thing I will say about that, too, is the college basketball rivalry is different in football because football, if y'all both good, it's different. Hmm. College basketball, IU and Purdue can be ass, but when they play them two games, oh, it don't fucking matter. You don't think them niggas undefeated. Yeah. They be at Simply Hall going crazy. That's same, though, with Michigan and Ohio State play. They could be having a down year. They rarely have down years, but if they both have a yeah. down year, it's still going to be crazy in football. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that rival should hit different. Who was your rival? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Wait Who was our rival? Wait for who? He was on the ass. Are you serious? In BC, we was on the ass. And y'all talking about college football is <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Niggas don't even know that record. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga don't even know that's hold a on, real hold beef. On, hold on. We not finna do that that's to Syracuse, like bro. We ain't finna do that to Syracuse this <laughs> year, though. That's not that's not how that's hey, going. Hey, shout out to Jim Bayhaw, like, but that's pull like that's, that's like that's like, nah, that's that's that. like when the Clippers was like, yeah, we we rivalries with the Warriors. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we ain't the Clippers though. We we respect them, but don't do that. That's crazy. Bro. <laughs> Said we not from sixty third. Nothing about that beef. <laughs> Hey, you're on LB. <laughs> That's hey, a if you know, hey, you know on, type of thing. Hey, look, look. Hold on, don't do it. See, you got the fit on. You know he don't do it for us like that, though. Don't do that. No, that's don't crazy. Do. Free the wave. <laughs> free the wave. God, God free. So, I mean, you know what I'm saying? What was, I got to ask, man, what was your first thoughts to coming to Nap? Like, have you been here before? Before you pulled up, what was your reaction when you first pulled up in the city, you know what I'm saying, got on the soil? Keep bro, it clean. I, keep bro, it clean. I, first, bro, I, first, bro, I first, pulled up. first of all, I didn't know where Indiana was. Oh, uh, damn. Respectfully, I'm not. I understand. But I ain't good at geography. But yeah. when I pulled up, it was just, you know, I'm from a big city. Like, I'm obviously, I went to a college town. I'm oh, from Philly. Like- I nah, finish your shit. Finish your shit. Oh, yeah, I'm from a big city, and it just it's just it's just slow. I'm from like one of the biggest cities, so it just I'm, it, it's just slower here though. Ah, uh, you seen the cornfields? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> cornfields. I ain't gonna hold you though. The only thing about any that get under my skin is like everything. Every one of y'all stores is in like a strip mall shopping center. Y'all don't got no stores on the street. Nah, pull up. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't like yeah, I don't like stores on the street. Yeah, this ain't uh, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Theft Auto? You got that Grand Theft Auto that store on the street? Philly set up, nigga. Like, uh, no, boys Philly. in the hood. <laughs> no, Philly really is Grand Theft Auto, no cap. Yeah. <laughs> nah, Indy cool, though. Nah, I rock with the nap, man. I'm trying to get good with them, you know what I'm saying? Ah, yeah, it's I'm probably trying to tap in, you feel me? They, they put you on the boosty, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> 
them boys in locker room put me in a Boosie. Nah, they they love Boosie. I, I just ain't never been nowhere where they play Boosie like in the club, like but like his whole they got a Boosie set every night in the oh, club. Yeah. I ain't oh, never. Yeah. He's an honorary napkin. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he from I ain't know that. Yeah. Outside yeah. of Philly though, when y'all go to the club, who's who's they playing in the club? Who they rocking? I mean, oh, the guys that's out. I mean, obviously, <laughs> baby. You know what I mean. You know the guy. Hey man, don't no fall for this shit, man. <laughs> wow, who he Yo, bullshit. Well, he's trying to line me up. 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 No, I'm not. I'm trying. I'm trying to ask because like, I'm on your team, brother. <laughs> I mean, they playing Drizzy. Black they playing man, the guy. Black man, I'm on your side. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Who, who, who do they play in the club? Yeah, so you trying to line me? See this shit, but baby, me. I mean, they was playing one uh, gunner. I don't know. You feel me? That's a little situation. Yeah, spin the gunner. Future, obviously. You know what I'm saying. I don't know the guys. Oh, okay, when did you ever heard Nas? In the club? Woo. No, we not playing Nas. Okay, in the club, we can go bro. to the. All right, I just. Want to we not, <laughs> he a Nas guy? Yeah, see, yeah. man, he, he's trying to lie to me. I ain't going. I ain't doing this today, man. Uh, we, nah, I, we Nas. Talk about, but what's your what's your? You don't have a beef with Boosie, but like that wasn't really a thing in Philly. No, nah, it ain't a beef. I don't. I don't yeah, that's why I said there ain't no beef. Yeah, it, ain't it was no just beef. it was just more so like you know you ain't never exposed to it. So like I came out yeah. here like my teammate. Shout out to D Lennon. He loved D Lennon. He loved right. Boosie. So, like, when I first pulled up, we got drafted together. To, he, they played that set it off. At first, I was just uh, like, why whoa. is this dude jumping around like that? Now I ain't going to hold you. You play that shit in the locker room. I'm ready to go run through some shit. So. Oh, that's a nigga spiritual out here. Yeah, yeah nah, nah. But I, but now, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm a part of the gospel. You feel yeah, me? So, like, it. it took me Welcome a little to minute. Ministry, my boy. Yeah, yeah for sure. Right. Ski. But, no, nah, he got, that, Boosie definitely got some sluts. You know what I'm saying? Mind of Maniac. That's all. He got hits. Yeah. I got a few of them. But just coming out, I had never really, they don't play that out Philly. So, I just, you know what I'm saying? Never listened to So, when you was in Q stuff, what was you listening to to get your, you know what I mean? Get it going. When I went to Q's, like, that's when they put me on all the Atlanta dudes. So, that's when I found out about the, because again, you play, I'm with a bunch of Atlanta dudes. So, they put me on the Amigo. All of them. Mm. In we had a bunch of concerts too. Like, Cause we probably had pretty much everybody out there, you know, like Travis Scott, all kind of people. Damn, I would never really think that about Syracuse, though. You yeah, gotta think football. Football, they trying to get football players. They all recruit from damn near the South on, then they go to the Midwest and East Coast. I mean, so sure they sense. had like concerts at that. No, we had, we had, we had all. Yeah, I saw the Migos my rookie year. We had party next door, all kind of shit. Says uh, everybody yeah, pull up like yeah, we didn't probably get no concert. No, you ain't getting that here. Nah, nah, nah hell you hell ain't no. slapping like that. Nah. <laughs> You I never heard of no mean. college have concerts like we did. I ain't gonna cap that shit was OD. Okay. And what's crazy for you is you was in Atlanta when that shit was really cracking though. Mm-hmm. I seen the Migos like uh, I remember when they first dropped. I was in the club, <laughs> and this is dude named Migo Gandalf, and he <laughs> uh, it's one of his <laughs> they one of their homeboys, and he was like trying to tell me that they was gonna be the next thing out. I wasn't going. I'm like, man, this shit got in. Wait, you know, I like Nas. Nah. So I'm like, nah. Disrespect. This ain't it, bro. Put yeah. J. Cole on. They like, nah, you got it here. And they was like, dum, 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 dum. that shit. I'm like, nah. Man, I heard that Versace with Drake. Woo. I was gone. <laughs> that be so retarded. What? Man, they played it like 25 times straight in the club. Yeah. Girls was going you crazy. Ask, you asked for J. Cole to get put on in the club? Man, listen here, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to listen catch it. I like, I like rap, bro. I that's like fair. rap. That's fair. So you yeah. like Benny the Butcher? Cold. Yeah. yeah, I yeah like cold. Yeah. Too. Too, but sure. I like Future too. Like, you a Future fan? Of course. Hey, look. Oh, <laughs> see, look here. Of course. He's <laughs> top one. He's top one. Hey, He's top one. He top one. He told me Future was better than Jay Z. Stop telling people that. Whoa. No lie, bro. In my life. Listen, I never said the impact. What did you say? Z, listen. Now I'm Z. I'm gang now. I'm gang. I'm gang. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a nasty gang to be a part of. You know how a nigga go to Rucker and when they get the name, they're part of the family. Yeah. So, look, man, this is all I was saying jay-z is not impactful no more bro he's not the old heads is listening to jay-z when he drops just cuz the young niggas they not really tapped in God future did. is all up because listen bro future oh, is all over the <laughs> internet with the hoes they these young niggas can relate because they fried I, i'm spiritually <laughs> His last name is Hendrix. Uh, <laughs> That's my last name. So, you know what I mean? We wanted to say, but what I'm saying nasty. is, music wise and influence, he's bigger right now than Hove, bro. I, you, Hove is all, 60. Hove not active. Let's start, let's start there. Hove not active. So, but I'm whenever he do drop, everybody listen, though. That's not everybody. Right. Everybody our age. Zaire, you barely make the cut. That's fair. You That's got fair. an old soul. I do. I do. All right. Now, I, I just met you. <laughs> this nigga <laughs> 26. <laughs> ain't, too, ain't too many 26 year olds bumping that. 
God did everybody play God. Did That's what I'm play. saying. I feel like I feel like I hear what you're saying, but I feel like it's different. You can't compare Ho- Hov not even competing with the rest of them. Like Hov nah. not even competing with Future. He like two, he, three generations ahead of right. Can't even compete with Nas either. Jay, I'm he a Jay Z fan. Yeah, I'm just, gonna just gonna telling you, that. like, oh, my fault. niggas ain't really trying to dress like Hov or be like Hov. So who your who who the greatest rapper to? Oh, I'm I'm biased. I'm just asking. Yes, Future. You said oh. Future's the best rapper ever? Yeah, Future. future He's it, just a filthy it, nigga. But I, if you go off numbers, yeah. if, on, if, if you go off, if you, but listen, 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 listen. I, I was on the wrong table. Yeah, yeah, you nah, are. Nah, I told you. Try, I told you. Damn. Well, you can go back to Zaire. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what, I, what I'm Let's saying is, though, you, if you go by numbers, fuck it. Give me Drake. Okay. I don't do that number shit, bro. I go on NBA. Me either. Carmelo Anthony was my favorite basketball player. That's respect, Syracuse. Shout right. out to Melo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, you back to Z. Come yeah. on. Yeah. I fuck with Melo, though. Yeah, yeah sure. so that's what I'm He's not better than Bron, I'm not a... Exactly, You didn't but even have to say that, though. You didn't even Sorry have to go that. there with it, though, because that right, was cool. That's a great question. Do you think better Bron or Mike? I'm definitely going Bron. I mean, just just off the screen. I like, respect it. You know I watched Shooting Stars last night. I watched that. It's all right, too. It ain't bad. Yeah, it ain't I'm bad. It's corny at first. Then you kind of yeah, get into like, damn, yeah. these niggas gonna win or what? Damn. Yeah, yeah, I watched it too. I but want the Brian documentary where they start snitching. That's what I want. <laughs> I want to hear the bullshit. Fit. He's always fit. When he when he done, I want to hear the bullshit come out. The 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 yeah, I need Brian to hear. Died. I need to hear, it, bro. The Miami ex, uh, exploits. Yeah, bro. Nah, that's nasty. Uh, nah. Keep, the, keep them in the raps. Yeah, bro. Nah. please do. Nah, we we Brian our only good one, bro. We can't throw him away, man. We need him clean like Martin Luther. Nah, no, he wasn't. He even wasn't clean. clean either. <laughs> R.P. That piece of shit. <laughs> oh, you can't that's disrespect crazy. our oh, leader. That's crazy. Not nah, Martin, bro. Not nah, Martin. Hey, have y'all seen bro. the AI pick of Martin Luther King with the tats? Hey, that's fire. That's me by Al Cover. <laughs> yeah. Martin was hitting hoes in Philly, bro. Back in the day. <laughs> no, <laughs> not Martin, bro. Not Martin. We ain't doing that. Nah, no, Martin. Going to, y'all got all them motherfucking. Uh, you ain't watched that. You ain't watched that VHS movie when you was in elementary, huh? When they rolled it in, my my friend Martin ain't one. The it's weakest like, huh? movies ever. Yeah, oh, bro, you would hate him too. That's crazy. That was a classic. Mark, listen, that's a classic. You Give me Magic School Bus. So school Magic was a, School Bus. School was <laughs> a little different. When you was in school, y'all probably had iPads and shit already. Oh, come on. We didn't grow up on that. that. We had walk, no They walked the TV in on us. <laughs> hey, walk, with the big back. <laughs> Ooh, the BBL TV. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> BBL. Bro, that motherfucker was from Tun. No way. Our school books were different than you. Well, he was IBS. They had school books. Oh, for sure. Me too. I was lying to about I was too until I mean, 109. Martin, Martin, Martin was once that they came out and really told Martin's story. I was like, yeah, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> oh, One of the weakest man. leaders of all time, bro. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Hey, when we get the Chris Bosh ISO though. camera what? about LeBron in Miami, that's gonna be the best shit. They gonna snitch on LeBron at some point, bro. It's nah. coming soon, bro. Nah, man. But you was a part of one of the most important draft class in the coast recent history for sure. Y'all had them hitters. You had a great offensive line, great defense. Now, we're going to skip past a little bit of rookie year. You told us about how you came in, you know what I'm saying, first start against Tom, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. That next summer, boy, you was a part of city history. How was that training camp, like, with that information going on with Andrew Luck? Like, how was that, like, for your second year in the league? Did that throw you for a curveball, or was the team already kind of prepared for that shit? Bro, we had no idea. That's like, crazy. I mean, the whole training camp, you know, we were just assuming he was going to come back. It was just, but like I said, he's so cold that it's like, he, like one time he just jumped in a walkthrough offense, just, they just sharp all immediately. You are, you you mean, he, 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 him. Like, it really don't even matter. Same offense, whatever. And then, you know, just preseason game, uh, I'm on the sideline and, you know, you just hear the fans going and. (laughs) I feel like it's actually kind of salty. I think I might be in the video just because I'm a just, you know, you know, you young boy in the league. You don't know what's going on. Yeah, I just see the cameras. I'm oh, I'm in the back. I'm a whole, that's the camera. I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the way and shit. I'm like, I'm tripping. But, uh, I mean, that was just a crazy ass moment. That was one of the times I'm just sitting around like, damn, bro. I'm like, I'm a part of history. This OD, but you know what I mean? Shout out to Luck. That's my guy for sure. But Dog. definitely a crazy situation. The whole city was just like, what the fuck? I remember we was headed, he had a barbecue that night. I was headed to your crib and I was watching the preseason game and Adam Schefter hit the report and I seen Luck walk off the field. They started booing. I oh, said, Oh, yeah, damn. damn, that was that night. Yeah, you had a party that night. We all mm-hmm. slid in your crowd. I was like, Damn, Luck really out here. I was like, I wonder who knew. Because I was like, I don't be, because I work in the media too. So I, I be, the leak shit don't ever really be leak shit. You be knowing people yeah. be kind of filtered for their own stuff. But I always yeah. wondered, did y'all locker room? Because how did y'all feel about that? Because y'all went from like, oh, damn, we up this year to, oh, shit, we got to figure this shit out. Yeah. I mean, you know how it go. You just, nah, yeah. but we about to lock in. We about, we got all we need. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's one of them type of Jones. But 
at the same time, it's just like, damn, you just lost like a generational talent just like that. You feel me? So That's like, tough. it was a definitely crazy. I mean, we we ended up thugging that year a little bit. You know, we some injuries kind of fell off, but. I mean, no, it was definitely crazy. I mean, I but like again, I was nobody. I ain't had no clue. I was second year boy. I was really just focused on trying to make the team at that point. You know what I'm saying? That's but, real. So I ain't. I wasn't privy to none of that. Like you know what I'm saying? So I I found out same time as everybody else. Damn. And that's interesting because he always talk about him like grinding to get to that 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 second that second signature. Mm -hmm. How was it for you? Like you know what I'm saying? You coming in seventh round pick. You had to grind that shit out. No question. That was probably a lot of. And that's why I think one of the most underrated things about professional athletes is like, yeah, you see their salary, but you don't know what niggas got to do to get to that next paycheck. No like, question. you had to grind that shit, especially in football, where, you know what I'm saying, hard on, y'all playing, hitting. You got to grind that shit out physically and mentally. Mm. I know, like you said, for you, like, it was crazy, and you was in a situation they wanted you to have it. How was that for you? You had to grind that shit to get to that next contract. Man, you just you just got to win the game on different fronts. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you got to be the best on the field. You got to carry it the best, you know, be a good leader and all that. But at the same time, I feel like, you just gotta keep grinding, bro. And honestly, I feel like even, I be telling the young boys even now though, like, first of all, I be trying to let them know, like, yeah, I get it. Like, the coach love me, second contract, woo woo starting cap and all that other stuff. I'm like, bro, it wasn't always like that. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I was just telling one of my young boys today, I'm like, man, they ain't put me in a team photo shoot to my third year. Like. What? I'm saying, like, everybody, I'm, I'm pulling up. Everybody got their jerseys on, everybody got their sleeves on. They damn Z, you ain't got no, no, nah, I ain't even got no time. I'm going on year three. I was a captain on the team before I even had a, a photo shoot. But that's crazy. But that's just what it was. But it's just like, bro, you just got to take all that shit in stride, man. You just really just got to, honestly, I just took it personal. I just always felt like, shit, if they if they feel like I'm not this per player that I feel like I am, obviously I ain't proving it enough. So I just took that mentality, like, or if they not gonna play me, I'm not snapping hard enough. So I just gotta keep going, and I just Damn. be trying to tell my young boys that too. Like, bro, you gotta keep putting that in, Damn, and then even they, they gonna even they gonna support you, or guess what? It's somebody else will too. So. Damn. That's crazy. Nigga didn't take a team picture. You was damn near choir boy from the five yeah, hundred. Right. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm one of the extras and shit. And nah, the girl, nah, I didn't even sure. got my name. And that's how the pocket could, cause you want a team fight every week. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy too. Nah, that's a lot of niggas to get in one picture though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, sit this one. How many players on the team? Like fifty something. Fifty three. Fifty three. Yeah, better than imagine. twelve. Hey, that's a lot of niggas. I was wondering, like, man, y'all don't be having guaranteed contracts in certain situations. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way in hell I could play like that. <laughs> Did y'all have to have the? Uh, well, that's the ghetto for y'all. That's the ghetto like, for y'all. I know, like, that's respect. I'm like, damn, y'all still go out there and risk y'all life, like, play hard every day, and y'all mm -hmm. even know if it's guaranteed. When they motherfuckers told me your shit might not be not guaranteed, I left. I was like, yeah, I'm going to retire. Who told you that? You remember when the COVID year I retired and they was like, everybody was calling me like, yeah, you should come back and play one more year. We just need you. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, y'all going to guarantee me. They was like, we do partial. I was like, yeah, I'm cool. Damn. Oh, motherfucker can't tell me to go home. I'll be shitty as hell. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, we don't it, need you no more. The NFL yeah, is crazy, though, because it'd be like, Niggas got to get like a certain amount of receptions. You yeah, them incentives, tackles. Incentives, yeah, yeah. Is that a part of your deal or? Nah, mine's not necessarily. But what I this deal I signed was a little bit just not for my role now, though. Okay. Honestly, um, but for real, for real, I mean, it is crazy though. I again, I be told you I be hating on the NBA players. First of all, half <laughs> some of these niggas don't play. It's like ten <laughs> niggas in the NBA that just haven't played in like two years. Shout to Zion. Bro, I be dollars. like, dog, these niggas don't play. Still getting the big check, big roles. Zion living. Fuck what y'all talking about. So that's Zion not. Living. I love work life Zion balance. Living. Shout out to Zion. Hey, hey living. Hey, look, I, First, hey. You know how you live, play. Zion, that's Kyrie, real out. niggas. Get paid. Don't go to work. That's a nasty shout out. So hey, it ain't no. It ain't. Hey, did y'all see the clip with dude? Was like, they was talking about he was a freak athlete. <laughs> The game. They said that was the most accurate description I ever heard oh, in my man. life, bro. I was sick. No so ain't nobody on the coast just chilling, getting the bag. Hell no. no. No, this the NFL, bro. It's crazy, bro. It's fifty three people, bro. Let you act like you ain't finna. What? No, hell no. We'll, we right about it. Though. Okay. No, they just cut Dalvin Cook. Yeah, how that work? Cut, like, how did you? Him, I know they ain't I, cut I, him. I hate the way that people say he wanted to be released. He ain't yeah. Oh, okay. how that work though? Like when you a good player, I be seeing like cold players. They be like, oh, he got released. I'm like. Why they do that? Well, money. it'd be honestly, it's, it's it's funny how they word it and stuff like that happen. It just be the media playing tricks. But like, they got contract, they got guarantees in their contract. Okay. So mm -hmm. if you cut them at a certain point, like for so. I don't want to speak on everybody's situation, but yeah, right. some people might have in their contract or they getting guaranteed this. If they get cut this, they gonna get nine million. So you cut them, they still uh, getting that nine. Yeah, yeah, okay. They really double dipping. Yeah, like you yeah. get what I'm saying for the next joint. So that happened to me. 
Yeah, so lost in Milwaukee. Him. Yeah, now we went to Orlando. Yeah, you Boston. got Orlando jersey? No, I you need to take Orlando oh, jersey. I didn't even go. I didn't even go. They told me <laughs> to just don't even come. They told you don't come? <laughs> yeah, because I had left Boston and I got traded to uh, Orlando, and they was like, "You don't want to be here. You want to try to win something, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah." The team told you that? Yeah, they. That's I, nasty. I knew them though. They like, we ain't, we playing all. We sad. We ain't gonna win nothing. We gonna wave you so you can double dip. We gonna pay you. But you gonna sign another team. Yeah. See, see the NBA is way them? more transparent than y'all. But they, it's like they, it's like the NBA. I feel like they want their players to get paid. Like I feel like the Grizzlies are mad that is uh, like Ja fucking it up. Like they mad. Like damn, we want to give you two hundred. You tripping, bro? You be all pro and that be. <sighs> I don't know if you deserve this 15. You like, damn, like I'm putting it all in for you. Like, <laughs> they got made a pro bowl. Hey, that's yeah, crazy. All that pro, crazy. pro bowl, if they cover a man, like damn, that's, that's crazy. Only, but in the NBA, they just can't wait to get y'all. Nah, if you kill in the NBA, they gonna pay you. They for pay sure, you. they love that. Yeah. yeah. So that's basically like getting a buyout, like getting bought out. Basically, yeah. that makes yeah. sense. Mm-hmm. That's. So- Dalvin gonna be cool though, bro. He gonna be. I mean, he want that bread though, and they they kind of doing the running backs nasty right now. But. I mean, they don't just they don't respect the running backs at all. Yeah, they violating the real big time right yeah, now. They do. Outside of the quarterbacks, who get the most love in the NFL? Oh, uh, pass rushers, the DNs. Yeah, DNs. Hell yeah. Because it's all about the quarterback. So you got the quarterback, then who gonna affect the quarterback? DNs, and then who gonna protect the quarterback? The left tackle. You gonna pull a Michael Parsons to go down to the line? Hell no. <laughs> He's hey, on the the line. I'm not going down that boy. Look, little default. <laughs> Grow, shout out to the guys. Y'all got it. Y'all know y'all my boys. Whatever y'all need, <laughs> I got y'all boy. But no way. I'm the, not I think they one of the most underrated athletes in, in like sport because they big as hell. Hell yeah, and D-fo, be moving. Defo six seven, moving like bro. That's six seven like three hundred. That's crazy, bro. That's nice. Run a four <laughs> seven four. <laughs> four bro, four, and we are really walk you and and bend and all that. And I'm like, yeah, oh, y'all boys sure. is different. Damn, though, bro. damn. For sure, ski. That's crazy. Before we get to some other stuff, man, I want to talk to you about what you do off the field, man. You got a wonderful mm-hmm. foundation, man. Please tell us about that. Also, if you haven't seen, shout out to my boy JB. Wonderful expose with my guy right here. That's my dog. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's my dog. Shout out to JB. We locked in. But yeah, tell people what you got going on, man. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I, uh, I got my nonprofit named after my late mother, Shalisha's Angels. You know, just helping out young kids, specifically young women in Philly and Indy. Uh, got a couple things going. We got a business academy coming up next week in Philly for like three schools. Just teach, got a couple of black owned business owners from the city. Gonna have them pull up, talk to a couple of like the middle schoolers, teach, tell them about what it means to run a business. Then we got uh, like this business simulation that we took from uh, the University of Michigan. Nice. We're gonna like teach the young boys about, you know, how what it means to really run a business, like hire staff. That'd be crazy though. I'm not gonna lie, it'd be really crazy because you teaching kids, and I ain't gonna hold you. Like the middle school I went to is like in the middle of the trenches, like Kens and Allegheny. So it be kids that's from the trenches. Now they run in the store and they be like, I don't want to pay my servers this. And I be like, damn. <laughs> they be managers and they be like, no, I don't want to pay my staff this. And you be like, it's different on us that when you getting that check, you don't want to pay. But capital definitely be teaching the kids, you know what I'm saying, the different business and stuff too. So it's definitely, you know, good job. You know, shout out to www. Uh, you know, shalisasangels.org. You know, shout out to them. Check it out. Yeah, I think that's fire, especially like, you know what I'm saying? Dope. When you get to a point to where you can pour into, like, that's like the homie, like, he coaching, like, coaching on high school. And that's yeah, fire. Yeah. That's fire. It's, it's still to this day, when I see people talk, I'm like, damn, that's fire. Like, really, homie, really at you fight coaching. Pipe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to heck. My first year coming up. Uh oh. Okay. We, let's get them boys right. Suicides, day one, huh? All the time. That's all we do is run. Damn. <laughs> what we, all the new head basketball coaches do, bro. <laughs> you got to be in shape. He's Stan Van Gundy. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. Do <laughs> Best player playing the whole game too. He ain't coming out. For sure. All right, that's if right. you if you killing, you staying in. That's I'm, a fact. I'm trying to win. <laughs> and if we up twenty and you got thirty five, let you get forty. Yes, uh, I ain't taking you. So up. now he coach Carter. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Whole lot of sisters. <laughs> All right, man. So we got a lot of wonderful topics to get to before we get out of here. Uh, speaking of podcasts, since we on right now, your man's Marcus Jordan is he out of pocket? No, nah, man, run it up. Shit, y'all put his name all in the media. He a chill nigga. Y'all don't want to exploit it, nigga. So, shit. For those who don't know, you know what I'm saying? Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan, they got a nice podcast coming out. I want to hear that first episode. I hope he on there snitching. I hope he on there talking crazy. <laughs> Why you always want everybody to go fed? I, I do. <laughs> we need it. Because what, what, y'all, what y'all doing is already out of pocket. Don't sit here and try to act like y'all about to play house with this shit. I want to hear it. I want to. I want to hear it all. Yeah, That's what we here for. Oh no, I'm. I ain't. You not tuning in. Nah. You not fucking with it. Be nah. in. You fucking with it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I just want to see the first episode drop, and then I can speak more on it from there. I I am interested. They nah, they. I'm not interested at all. Hey, look, between them and Khalees, 
What yeah, Khalees do? Khalees and Bill Murray is the nastiest couple I've ever seen in my life. Come on, Nas. She let Nas down. Nas let Nas down. Nas let Nas down. Yeah, Nas. Nas fought with a bag, man. Nah, he did. He fought with a bag. He made ring, bro. He made ring. And he had Nikki at the but oh, you no, nah, no, nah, I'm not talking about this paper. Oh, Nas is very, very educated. I'm just saying, bro, how you how you lose your lady to Bill Murray? <laughs> He's 80, bro. Bill Murray got that bag though. Respect you know, it. He got that chicken though. For That's sure. a fact. Y'all, y'all bigger chicken than Nas? Pause. Yeah, pause that. That please. is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say yeah too. <laughs> <laughs> so niggas call they shit pause. chickens? Oh no! Oh no! But I just it didn't like the verb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's I, crazy. The live was just kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> you were setting me up. You've been doing that lately, bro. Don't don't worry. I got you on this. I'll let you slide with a pause. When you I talk. know. <laughs> you said like, hey, yo, <laughs> yeah. four, five, I'll I'll let you slide. I like. And I was really saying that's crazy to what you just said. I was like. I was like, yeah. it's cool, bro. Right. <laughs> so I was no. cool. Damn, up? shout out to Khalees and the Milkshake. That's tough. <laughs> he, he's fried. Man, get off there. Man. Hey, Yo, come on, music man. Philly Anthem. Oh, let's go. Is it Meek or is it Uzi's? It's what we do. They property. Oh, uh, facts. Foremost. Hey, first and foremost. look at, hey, he's a well, real nigga. What? Shout out to Freeway. Oh, but God. They two different vibes like you play dreams and nightmares you're gonna jump up and down get ready to turn up you know what i'm saying if you got bottles pouring up a shot uzi play all the kids start to dance that's like tiktok it's like, it's like tiktok yeah. and fortnite yeah. now the song is hard it's a movement but two different crowds i mean they just being so emotional that's drama right. was reaching drama just i feel like just trying to sell a narrative because that's his artist or whatever but he I, I, I would never say like nobody in the city gonna sit here and say oh damn uzi got the new Uzi just got the new wave, so like, but I guess what Meek didn't have the first wave because what we do was running the streets for a long time, yeah. and that's still turning that's everybody. Up. So it's like, Ooh. it's just you know what I'm saying different eras. You just gotta respect your uh, elder. Who's the best rapper in state property? Beanie, no question. Facts. Beans, for Beans, sure. yeah. What? And then Chris after that. You got Chris over Freeway? Yeah. I like I like PD Crack respectfully though. Nah. That's 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 where I'm from. I like, I like Chris after that. That's a, that's a good one. PD, I fuck with PD. PD, yeah. PD gave all them niggas swag. Yeah, I Chris? feel like he was a he was a PD the, was the swag, bro. Nah, Hove really took Chris. Don't swag. do that. Don't do that. He I did. Knew, I knew you was about though. to do that. He, he kind of was still in his swag a little bit though. That's not fair. How you figure that? If you go listen to Chris rap and how he rapping some of the shit, he say Hove started saying it after that. Yeah. So, so I can say that now nah, I stole AZ flow. That's a good one. Ooh. Don't disrespect Nas. I'm, I'm, hey, we <laughs> talk about home now. Hey, Z, I ain't crazy. saying this flow. I just oh, said no, some, of, some yeah. of the cadence and shit. So you really think Nas over Hope? You think that? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Jay-Z my favorite oh, rapper. Okay. You still listen to Nas though? Like, yeah, for real. Z, like, four, actively. three, you yeah. know Hard. For real? Yeah, you ain't like him? No. Nah, he's out of pocket, bro. Scared of home. Kenzie's one thought, was hard, though. I thought he was rolling with me. I was like, yeah. <laughs> nah, not Kenzie's today, buddy. Kenzie's one was hard, though, but yeah, he, ain't, he ain't need to make no more at the nah, first bro, one. Nah, bro, all, all of them tough, bro. You got to listen. You got to tap in, bro. They really know you that. Yeah, play it in the club. <laughs> he like, what's the nigga you like, Joey Bell? Like? Hey, he just, nah. hey, nah, he just Dom respect Kennedy. my nigga Dom Kennedy. Dom got one joint. I like that when I come around. That's my joint. That joint always in my. That's always in the got, That's one joint. Like for I sure. said, we, we in the club. Again. We in the club. We gotta play Dom or Nas. So you pick. I'm it. definitely dropping a Dom Man. for sure. Out the game. Nah, you, yeah, you they go here Nas and put their shoes back on. I'm playing Mims over Dom Kennedy. You already told for you. Sure. You said Mims. He, he keeping yeah. Mims light on. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let motherfuckers <laughs> here. I'm gonna let motherfuckers listen to Ether. Before yeah, Ether way better than anything. I'm gonna let my folks listen to Ether. I'm gonna force you to listen to Ether in the club over any Dom Kennedy. See, that's song. your problem. You play music in the club for the hoes. None of the hoes want to hear Ether, bro. They want to hear that that Dom cool LA shit. Nah, bro. Man, they don't want to hear. You gonna be in the in the in the section just fitted low. All right, bro. I call some ladies music. right now, and I swear to God, they don't know who Dom Kennedy is. I swear to God, shame you, on but you. They you know Ether, around, but they know Ether though. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Y'all, out of y'all women rough. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> All y'all women know how to slap box hey, too. I know I'm that. Glad he went, I'm I glad he went. I'm glad he went on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> you went ahead of time at All Stars. Yeah. Y'all was no, y'all got some rough looking motherfuckers in Philly though too. Oh, I see. That's fair. That's y'all, fair. Yeah, y'all got some penitentiary <laughs> looking motherfuckers too. A lot of a lot of memes come from the Philly women. Let me just ask Damn. you: think who you think got better women in India, uh, Philly? I know you probably buy Philly. Them, no, no. <laughs> I'm, just just, I'm quick. I was, I was just asking. No, you disrespect the queens in the city. No, shout out to Philly. I am. 
Listen, 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 I told you, Queens, he I don't love, love y'all. He ain't with y'all. He's a liar. Look, listen, I got about 30 of my favorite Queens here. Y'all know I don't got to say y'all that. Uh huh. 30. We talking talk about as a village? Yeah. A as a collective. East Coast. Man. As a conglomerate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop, drop dreaming yeah, nightmares now. <laughs> hey, you crazy, bro. Uh, man. Hey, you are fried, man. Uh, speaking of back to sports, man, y'all got a crazy season coming up because we finally got a black quarterback in Indy. Yes, sir. Thank God. Y'all know you reached don't out. Don't do like that. Yeah, don't do to my man JB. Yeah. Shout out to JB. Don't, don't do percent like but that. But I understand what you're saying. We drafted though. a black quarterback there for the first go. time. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, we yeah, go. There we go. Respect to Brissett. Brisket, as they call him. No disrespect. No, that's my brisket. man JB. I can't let you do that to my man my JB. Boy, man. What did they call him? Dink and Dash? <laughs> No, oh, when y'all ain't doing it, <laughs> hey, no way. You called him Dick and Dash? No. <laughs> hey, yo. Whoa. I said Dink, nigga. Oh, no. I was about to say The iPhone typo just got crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They say right, he just right. throw 15 yards. Let me back to Kobe. I'm happy we got AR5, man, in the city. We got the revamp. We got Leah Boston to fever. We got a black quarterback drafted. Finally by the coach. Shout out to Ursa. I'm geek, man. I ain't even a coach fan, but I'm excited for the city for this right now. I'm, I'm a Colts fan. I know you are. Oh, you man. say you're not a Colts fan. Who, who's, who's your squad? Um, it's not that I ever went against the Colts. <laughs> Cap you know ass saying? tattoo. What? <laughs> <laughs> he got that joint. Junior, yeah, oh, Pike, huh? Yeah. It's alright. You still yeah, game, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, man. Shit, it's on. Yeah. It's on your. It's on your body, yeah. like. Yeah. Man, nigga, mama man. made him get that tattoo. <laughs> this nigga here crazy. Man. <laughs> Respect, mama T. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Miss Curry. I work with the white Franny and them, man. Damn. Shout out to the guy. That nigga can't name seven Colts players. They put that on. He got a horseshoe on his arm. Yeah. Pay man. Oh, defund yeah. Jeff Saturday. Huh? Defund Jeff Saturday. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did you see? Zaire. He did a terrible tank job. I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> Zaire Frank. Don't go crazy. Oh, you cheating. <laughs> you cheating. Don't go crazy. <laughs> well, <laughs> shout, out, shout, out, shout out to Zaire Frank. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Wade, oh, no. Bridgie Wade. I Martin told y'all that tent is cat. <laughs> 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 No way. But nah, I grew up a Cowboys fan until we tried to, uh, my nigga, no Mark Cooper, man, it's been, I've been a step back, but I got love for the Colts. Hey, anytime the Colts are good, it's do good for the city. Anytime y'all in the playoffs, it's more shit to do. My friends is happy. They barbecue. When y'all not good, my niggas be sad on Sundays. Mondays <laughs> is all bad. They don't want to answer their phone. I'm just geek. We got something like, I feel like we're going to have a super, like, exciting product. Yeah. Like, not that y'all were bad, but like, you know what I'm saying? The quarterback position has been, you know what I'm saying, an issue for the last couple of years. Never now heard. you got something to look forward to going forward. Because like you said, the league is evolving. You know what I'm saying? You got them boys up front doing four fours. Yeah. You got to have somebody who can combat that. Yeah, yeah. And he out here, damn near through the legs in the free throw line. So I'm yeah. something. I want to see it. Nah, for sure. Now, young AR, man, he definitely he definitely a talent, bro, for sure. But I definitely feel like it's going to be more exciting this year, too, man. We young. Mm -hmm. We got one of the young boys. Shout out to my man, Drew, from the city, man. He went to Warren. So hey. we, got, we got some Naptown boys on the team, man. We got some young boys in here, but I definitely feel like it's better. I, I can't lie to you. Even for us, though, it wasn't exciting. Like, we knew, like, damn, like, yeah. you're not scoring points. You know what I'm saying? It's tough. You ain't winning. But I ain't going to hold you. I feel like my whole thing, I, we, we really just be wanting to turn the city up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, in a different way, though. Like, I, I like when we be, like, Reg, Reggie on the team, I mean, he on the coaching staff. So, like, him, Cato, all the old, you know what I'm saying, OGs, they be telling us about, you know, all the, what type time they was on because they was playing when uh Jermaine O'Neal was gone. Yeah. And all three, all four. The Pacers. city was just OD. Oh, they was yeah. lit. And they I'm really lit. trying to turn up the nah, same way, lit. though. Because like, I feel like when you win and when you turn the seat up, just me being from Philly, I know what that's like. Like when the city really rocking with you, bro, that's yeah. what you really want. So nah, they had Bob Sanders and shit, bro. They was on. They was so, lit, bro. No disrespect to no, y'all, bro. They was, winning. they was winning 13 games. Yeah, but I, I, <laughs> I don't even know if the city could get back to that. To nah, the Pacers time. was lit too. Yeah, it was. Exactly it was, it was, it was like, Halliburton like that though. I like Halliburton. Nah, he sure. cold, but I'm saying the type of people they nah, were. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, that's, that's my only thing. Them, had, them niggas was outside. Side. That's what I'm saying yeah, though. That's yeah. what I'm saying. They bro. was dropping thirty and they was shooting up the strip club. Yeah, Reggie yeah. was telling me he be they telling like, me he be like, yeah, like we was really we had it on smash. Like when they was on him, Jermaine and all. If y'all want to do that, we could be of some assistance. Y'all see, I'm here, right? I'm trying, I'm trying to bridge the gap. We can put that purple demon emote. Nah. So you, I'm glad you, you clarified that yeah, purple. Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all was like, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yo, yeah, what are you talking about? I know it's the month respect, but yeah, you out of pocket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
I ain't in that. Nah, you tripping. I ain't messing with them folks. Hey, no, 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 respect to the letters. Yeah, respect to the letters. Yeah, all of them. Pay. Yeah, we got a pay. But nah, bro, for real. I think that's the thing, too, though. Culture in the city. We just don't, like, it'd be harder for us to tap in with y'all because we don't know. Where you we? know, I don't think NFL players really gravitate towards the city because we just don't know who y'all are, for real. But we're, we're I feel like, where is it at in, in Indy, though? I feel like that's a little bit different. Like, when you go to. Houston, or mm-hmm. if you in yeah. D.C., like, Philly a little different. I wouldn't say Philly necessarily, but, like, even New York, a little different spots. Like, you know, like, all right, look, if I want to be out, I want to be seen, I want to be where it's mixy at. This where I'm going to be on these days, this time with the whoop. You know what I'm saying? Like, where did that be, it, lava? It mix it up. Yeah, yeah. And see, but see, lava ain't lava no more. I believe yeah. that. Yeah. So I believe now that. we got my nigga C. Hove. They doing the shit at Georgia Street. Okay. We have shit sometimes. I got shit on Sunday. We can tap it. That's why, yeah. I, honestly, I feel like what I really think is what I always want to do is on some shit like after we win, just we host some shit like every time we so like you know our right, coach win, we in this month. Yeah, I could do that. That's what up. Reggie and them used that's, to do though. That's yeah, what I'm the only thing is bro. them niggas was winning back to back. But that, but that, but that make it fun though. I ain't gonna hold yeah. you. That make it fun. Like when you win it and then you turn up, you like. You get thirsty for that shit. Yeah. Like, bro, we got win because shit. I already got this lined up. I got whoop the whoop in, in yeah. town. Uh-huh. You feel uh-huh. me? We'll talk after the show. No question. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, baby, you're off. Reggie and them used to But they had, like a, they had Reggie. They had Edge. Yeah, they had Edge, some yeah. niggas. So and they still throw. I ain't going to hold it. Oh, yeah. Edge still pull up big low. Still pull up. Still on there. Edge, like, Edge my favorite foot coach player ever, bro. Boy, he was more relatable to us. That's number eight, too. That's number eight, too, by the way. That was number eight. Nah, he know I know Edge, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying that. Shout out to Bubby in the club. <laughs> Them niggas used to come to our schools, bro, oh, and yeah, really yeah. tap in with yeah, us. That's yeah. what I'm saying. We don't know how to really reach out. Duh, we not in school no more. But I'm yeah. saying back in those days, yeah. Jermaine O'Neal used to have an all-star game for the city mm-hmm. and the county. Mm. Like our schools versus they schools, nigga, and they play at the Pacers facility. Mm. Yeah, All that shit ain't like that no more. I think we getting the culture back, though. <clears throat> Having it, getting, like, AR as a quarterback, and then you getting the lead of Boston there. Then, like you said, you got Halliburton, and then they get them the revamp. That's what it takes to get back to the city because the city ain't like that. We like that. We know how it is. But for people from out of town to tap in, it's not that easy. So that winning culture make everything easier, obviously. But you got to have them people who are like, all right, I'm on that. Like, I'm, I'm stepping outside. Like, you see people, touch people. Like, But he can have it on lock this year. I mean, the All-Star game going to be here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's oh, for sure. What a time. Yeah. What a time to be alive. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Like, Because if, yeah. if y'all really want to turn up, like, after it wins from the game, bro, like, we can really orchestrate that shit. We got to tap. We got to tap, man. We got to tap, man. Yeah, that could be easy. For, it's easy, bro. But that's but that's what I feel like the city be needing, too, bro. Because I ain't going to hold you. Like, the one, another, one thing about Indy, though, like, in a lot of cities, like, I don't know, it just be like, where is that space for like black people to really kind of congregate and, and kind of get their shit off? Like, you yeah. feel me on, on some cool stuff? Cause I, I look, I understand, you know, situations come up and you know, look, I'm from there too, so I know how that go. But mm-hmm. at the same time, where is the spaces where, you know what I'm saying, we gonna go, we gonna turn up, we gonna have a good time. As long as you get out of here by two o'clock, you gonna be cool, you feel me? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. where is that at? Like, you get what I'm saying? So. I'm gonna bless you, brother. Yeah. That's all I, that's yeah. all I, that's all I need. That's all I He got you, bro. That's yeah. all I need. Speaking yeah. of turning the city up, hey, Lionel Messi is a guy, cause he about to take over Miami. Oh, no You question. see how much money he turned down from Saudi Arabia? Absolutely. He did not want to be over there, bro. Yeah, I would've went. Bro, they let Chris. I would've went too. I three years, 1.6 yeah. billion? Billion. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's how they carrying it over there. Bro, they let Chris they, they broke laws for Cristiano. That's like, hey bro, you can bring your girl. And you know they don't play about that yeah, shit. Yeah, for real. They so let him say, like, get over here though. Uh everything in the world, he's gonna have <laughs> a dual partnership with Adidas. So proceeds of that jersey sale, yeah. straight to him. Ain't no distribution. <laughs> Imagine if y'all could have got a percentage of y'all jersey sale straight to y'all pocket. Damn. That's crazy. On top of the team, he's probably gonna have ownership in the future expansion team. And he, it's layup lines, bro. That's like LeBron going to fucking Shanghai. He's going to murder these niggas <laughs> and just smile and walk off with it. <laughs> I think that's crazy. Yeah. That's how you turn the city up. I wonder up. how much money he got, though. He had to get at least $100 million a year. At, at least. least. They was paying yeah. They paying them yeah. boys 200 a year. He, he's Europe, not seeing so at least like, below three, bro. He living he in here. Miami? Yeah, yeah, bro. What's oh, up? He living. Bless I would have went to Saudi Arabia for three years, though. Bro, that's, one point that's hard. Living, though. Billion, one point six bill is crazy. Though, I would have got over the living. He's bro. already up. Bro. Yeah, he's he already up. Like, you you, you're you, American. There's never <laughs> no <laughs> selfish, bro. Never <laughs> enough money, you're bro. American, bro. He's for the people. You're not for the people. He's bro. not for he the people. Not from here. 
I'm it's just not, saying, like, he don't care about no bread, bro. He, like, I get to get in Miami. He, like, I already made crazy bread. He be I'm the most popular the soccer player damn near ever. Bro, what? I'm turning down Saudi Arabia to live in Miami. <laughs> I'm not where, you, where fucking Saddam Hussein used to play motherfucking tag at <laughs> to go down here with the goddamn swims. Which one? You're, you gonna choose a bag, bitch, and a bomb go hit your house. <laughs> <and play it. laughs> Motherfucker, oh, no, you crazy. safe on South Beach. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga to die for a bag. <laughs> you was in the contract. <laughs> My people good. My people good. <laughs> 500 million a year, damn near, but that's crazy. Hey, Club 520 HR be having a field day with Brandon Hendricks, boy. I'm just saying, he died, he died <laughs> for a fire ass life insurance policy. <laughs> <laughs> See, this, this nigga, nigga down nigga. here in Miami turned We can't, up. We can't never live, have live. a clean. <laughs> it's always him. Man. Always smoking. It's always him. Nah, I, I'm nothing to live in Saudi Arabia. Like, respect to them. And I, like, they going crazy with the money because shit, they bought golf, dog. They literally bought golf. Yeah. And I know all them people, like Tiger and them, who had them buyouts, and they said, nah, nah, keep it in. We're going to keep it loyal. It turned out 800 M's to turn around and buy that shit a year later. Hey, Tiger, go sue them niggas, bro. They always be on your name, always be smut on you. You be in the media. Go get your bread, dog, because they owe you. All right, they start a league. I'm out. Don't even ask me. Yeah, all right. That's what I'm trying to make sense. Ca- I ain't got nothing to say. All right, say. so let me ask you. Miami offer you 150 a year. Five years. You get 150 a year. You go to Saudi, you're right, 1.6, three years. The only thing about Saudi, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this All right. Say. Yeah, yeah nigga. <laughs> this is what I'm man. Look, All right. Bro, I don't know. That I, look, I might be doing dirt in their name, but wasn't these countries like somebody had like a gram of weed underneath their sneaker, they found it, and you went like to jail for a year. Them can't, laws overseas is a little weird. Yeah, years. see? Like, you going to be Brittany Griner. Bro, I'm saying like that, and I don't want to go to, you don't want to go to no Saudi jail, bro. You don't know what Ooh. they got. In them other jails, they got, the prisoners got guns. I ain't going to jail. Bro, I seen the Dark Knight Rises, bro. That's what they're going to I'm doing yeah, a real, they probably Leo ass in a I'm hole doing a real bid. I'm just sitting over there like this every night. <laughs> <laughs> I might just count my money every day. Like. They ain't going to take it. <laughs> bro, nah, <laughs> dog. You a filthy nigga. I don't know, man. Miami, bro, might, bro. Miami might be nice, dog. 1.6 billion, bro. I'm over Miami, there. Miami, 150 a year. Bro, Miami, a hundred. You know what you're doing with a hundred fifty in Miami? <laughs> you know, you know, you know you're You don't want to live in Saudi, go, bro. That's cool. After my three years, I'm gonna move to Miami and I'm look at you. <laughs> that's fun. I don't know. I'm thinking about buying the heat. <laughs> no, I don't know. This one, he on. He like, all right, let's buy the war. Yeah, spell. yeah. You ready? <laughs> you ready, boy? <laughs> You know they took half your shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's Ooh, that's yeah. why tax free over there too. Yeah. I ain't think about that's that. That's big cap. You think them boys ain't got no taxes over there, bro? <laughs> they do. They ain't federal though. Yeah, they got some other laws where they you gotta pay uh, them five percent for your security. You probably could have got them to be like, hey, y'all gotta pay for my taxes. For I, sure. want, I want the whole. They got life tax. <laughs> yeah, bro, <laughs> Saudi Arabia, bro, they were Toys R Us managers in the government, bro. Them motherfuckers ain't everything pass over there. You better not ever go to Saudi, bro. Nah, Me here can never go to Saudi Arabia. Never can go over there, bro. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, bro. They definitely go BGB over billion, there. Bro, I'll retire after that. I played them three years. Y'all brought up a good question before we get out of here. NBA, NFL, who y'all think will be the first? Well, obviously, MJ did it, but he don't count. How long do you think it would take for the first NFL player to own the team in the NFL? Oh, it's like, like this year time by the own the Raiders. You think so? Yeah. He already basically yeah. in business. That's about to go down. That's all. That's he probably get that majority owner. And owners like Tom. I don't think. I don't think he got no enemies other than probably like India. You think shit. he'd be the majority owner? Hell no, I'm not about majority. Say, of that's what I mean. But oh, oh majority yeah, owner? Yeah, like he, nah. nah that's Hell gonna be no. a long, 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 long time. It's gonna have to. I don't know. That's gonna be. That's gonna take a while. Bronco finesse somehow, some way. I think Magic might get it first though. Honestly. Ooh. Nah, <laughs> Bron gonna get it. He gonna get the. Why Vegas you laughing? <laughs> No, I was just saying, if Magic get it, bro, he's undefeated, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop yeah. him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing nah, can nah, stop nah. him. Bro. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> no, 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 you know what? If he gets majority order, he's the real MJ. <laughs> 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 Fuck 23. <laughs> Reverse it. <laughs> Reverse it is crazy. Oh man, hey, I don't want to hear real, Magic say reverse it. He's the real MJ, bro. That's crazy, bro. Bro, I'm telling the you, the nigga got the best biography him. ever, bro. Yeah, he do. He do. That's all me. Swear to God, he got bro. Starbucks and Jordans in NBA. T- go. I yeah. already told y'all what he just survived, bro. The guy. Yeah, he really, yeah he bro. Crazy. He the really real like future. That. And on that note, <laughs> we about to get up out of here. 
Appreciate y'all. Last but not least, hey, for y'all who put up to the live show, we appreciate y'all. Bro, birthday was going crazy. We're going to run a live show back a little bit different. We learned something, but we did learn as we still don't know our fucking party. My boy, how was your birthday, man? It was cool, man. I had a great time. Everybody came out. seen all my no boys out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't going to put nobody out there, but I seen the old schools in the parking lot, so it was a good time. It's down to times. Hey. Z, appreciate you pulling up on my boy. Follow my boy. Shout, shout them out. Tell them where they gonna find it. They're gonna see you on the field. Go ahead, get the socials out there for them. Oh yeah, Zaire uh, on IG, Z Smalls underscore on Twitter. So yeah. What's your number, bro? Boy. Forty-four for Shursky. Yeah, that's what I used to wear in high school. Yeah. That, that is y'all niggas is nasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, before we get out here, where the fuck did you pick forty? Is that your street number? From the hood? No, nah, I wore number four in college, and then forty-four some Syracuse shit. You know, I said forty-four Jim Brown all them. Oh. Yeah, so it was Jim Brown, Ernie Davis. Oh, so you got a real history behind 44. Yeah, t- technically. I mean, also, too, respectfully, <laughs> they gave me 97 when I first pulled up. Oh, that's, that's out of pocket. Nice. Well, because you, how you was They thought I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just saying, why did they give him a nigga 97? <laughs> No, 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 no. Hey, right, tell me, hey, right, tell me, you in the trenches? To give, to give a nigga a number ninety seven, bro. Y'all start off at one. <laughs> I'm just asking, bro. To no give way, a nigga, bro. Number ninety seven jerseys. Why did they give you ninety seven? I'm saying, though, but it didn't matter. I ain't playing no real games in it. You know what I mean? Okay, you know what I mean? okay. We gotta Let's find see. the jersey just in case. You gotta put that up. The ninety seven Franklin jersey. Yeah, yeah I, I swear. Want, that's all what all I want. my life, I'm a. Comic. <laughs> No, no, I'm a, I swear to God, I hate the fucking coast, bro. Whoa, <laughs> oh, let's get listen, into it. How we went through the whole joint? You just <laughs> nah, 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 listen. Oh, my mom, I'm getting the jersey, bro. I fuck with you, bro. I appreciate yeah, you bro. I bring on the show. Though, for sure. You getting the 44 pike, though, back? He gonna bring it I, back? I, I would never. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the Z44. <laughs> Okay. Hell no. On that note, like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. We appreciate y'all. We'll be back next week. Appreciate for sure. Already.